Hi, this is Terry from Rock Solid Technical Services. I'm going to go through the few simple steps it takes to use the VMware vCenter standalone converter to convert an existing VMware virtual machine into a new VMware virtual machine on another ESX server. We'll go ahead and run the converter standalone client. We're going to want to select convert machine but first I'm going to show you what we're going to convert. I already have two ESX servers connected via the vSphere client. First one on dot 204. As you can see there's only one virtual machine here, student 101. The second ESX server that I have connected is on dot 205 which has the virtual machine student 102. We're going to use VMware standalone converter to convert this virtual machine into a new virtual machine on the .tool4 server. Select convert machine. Here it wants you to select the source type. We're going to select VMware infrastructure virtual machine. These are the ones that you have to choose from. So again, VMware Infrastructure Virtual Machine. We want to specify the server connection. We're going to take 102 is from .205 ESX server. Put in the username and password. The lower right, select Next. On this screen, you see that the source tool 5 that we selected and what the inventory is. If there are multiple machines here, you could select from the different multiple virtual machines. We're going to select the student 102, which is the one that we want to convert and copy over to that tool 4. Lower right, select next. Now we want to select the destination type. We're going to change it to a VMware Infrastructural Virtual Machine. And we're going to put it on that tool 4. Enter in the username and password. And select next. Here we're going to verify the name, the virtual machine name. We're going to go ahead and keep student 102. It tells us that this size is 12 gigs and the data store, and how much is free, and the virtual machine version. We're going to keep these defaults. And we are moving it to 204. And click next in the bottom right. Verifying destination parameters. Allows you to view or edit the options before continuing. And everything looks okay. Select next. Source, student 102 on 10.1.1.205 and destination, student 102 on esx204.classroom.com. And on the bottom right, select finish. It leaves the wizard and comes back to the VMware vCenter converter standalone and gives you the progress. Status is running. It logs 
as it completes the task it tells you what it's doing. Take a few minutes for that to complete and we'll come back as soon as it's done. Okay, it's now giving us estimation times for completion. It's not going to take quite that long. I'll go ahead and pause it and come back a little bit closer to the completion time. Okay, the task is completed and it took about nine minutes to transfer that 12 gig uh, files for the virtual machine. I'll go back over to the .204 ESX server so that you can see that. Student 102 now exists on .204. And we'll go ahead and power that up. Give it a couple seconds to finish booting. And there we go. A working XP professional virtual machine that we converted with VMware Converter from one ESX server to another. Thank you for watching.